We always try to get our nurses the very best pay. I guess for clarity here, there's no intent to take her from your case or anything of that nature. Yeah, I'm sure that was accidental. Can you maybe just explain to your supervisor that this kind of got into a sticky situation? Uh, so today's video is kind of different than usual. It's a conversation that Abby had with Rayland's nursing agency. Uh, they provide the nurses to take care of her and that kind of thing. We never feature the nurses in our videos here because they just don't care to be in the vlog. But this is just Abby and I, uh, mostly Abby talking to the nursing agency about pay and a sticky situation that kind of came up with, with all that. Basically, we want Raylan's nurses to be paid as well as they possibly can be. So we were kind of shopping around agencies, but in the process there was a miscommunication and Abby sent them an email and they called back immediately. <laughs> <laughs> to try to clarify things and uh, it was just kind of a stressful uh, slightly tense conversation <laughs> but I think it also ultimately turned out good I think in the process Raylan Raylan's nurses will maybe get a raise which is good both for them and also for Raylan's care having her nurses paid more means that they'll stick around longer hopefully and uh, it just pays them what they're worth so we really try to fight for them advocate for them so that they get the best pay that they can possibly get so that they're happy and we're happy and Raylan's happy so first she talks with them and then we kind of talk about it afterwards. But this is just one of those things that we have to deal with. This is part of our normal life. <laughs> so here is that video. So just from a clarity perspective, I'm sorry if I conveyed something differently, but right now we can't necessarily make a full push for Raylan. And then in regards to your email, one of our recruiters you know, mentioned, hey, I, I just got a call in regards to a, you know, Raylan Cox, and I hadn't even had a chance to update our team just yet because there was just, you know, there's stuff taking place this week that we had to handle. I guess for clarity here, there's no intent to take her from your case or anything of that nature. Yeah, I'm sure that was accidental, but that's right. kind of what sort of, you know, that's how it looks. <laughs> I told her to call you guys because of that, because I know she already has one other case that she makes more money at than our case. And you're like, yeah, we, we, you know, send me some information, we can recruit for you. So I was like, maybe they'll pay you a fair wage. So right. I sent her to you guys for us. And, and obviously whoever answered the phone didn't know that, but in light of that, you think you could take her on and pay her a fair wage? Just for clarity here, the request that she asked for was denied. I tell all our nurses exactly what Medicaid reimburses. Sure. I let all our nurses know Medicaid reimburses that same amount, whether you have 20 years experience or two months experience. So right. don't be offended if a new grad is making the same amount as you because they don't get more money just because you have more experience. And I am really open with our nurses and I always tell them, you don't have to tell me your pay, but if you think you can get more money somewhere else, I will switch agencies for you. But with the pay rate piece, I mean, for an LPN mm -hmm. in the state of Illinois, I mean, yes, I understand you see those rates there, but from a company's perspective, we have to pay X amount of dollars to essentially, uh, we refer to it as burden or overhead. Right, right. Uh, you have payroll expenses. You guys have an office. You guys have to pay an RN supervisor to come out. You got to, yeah, I get it. She's willing to work our case and you know she's already trained on it. I'm just saying, can you take her on and give her a fair wage? And I know that you can't. I mean, I know that agencies do pay LPNs that amount. I'm not saying we're perfect by any means, but we like to make sure we are Paying a premium rate just ultimately to retain that nurse in the home. I mean, it sounds like you offered a really premium rate for Greenville. So, yeah, it sounds like you guys did offer her as an LPN a really premium rate for Greenville. But, um, and, and they didn't know that I sent her to you, but I sent her to you. And I'm asking you to offer a really good rate for our home because I sure. sent her to you because you guys said that you were going to be recruiting for us. I don't know, we're still kind of digesting it. I okay. know we just got the referral a couple of days ago, but unfortunately on our end, we get referrals daily. Well, can you reporting. maybe Was just it? explain to your supervisor yes. that this kind of got into a sticky situation and what's going on here and that we would really like you guys to consider taking us on since one of our nurses called you? So, hey, I'm sorry about, you know, I guess the confusion there from yesterday. Yeah, my guarantee once again that we're not, you know, we're not looking to poach nurses. Right, yeah, no, I just thought it was misunderstanding. Yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah, to make sure that's clear. But All right, thanks so much. Of course. Look forward to hearing back from you. Bye-bye. Of course, thank you. Bye-bye. Doesn't sound super promising, does it? I also think he didn't quite understand. Like, he heard, we don't want to poach the nurse. 
But what you're really saying is, you're offering her more money. Why don't you just offer her more money here? Right. So we always try to get our nurses the very best pay. For Raylan. Yes, Not, for Raylan. Yeah. We know what Medicaid reimburses the companies that hire them. We know what Medicaid used to reimburse the companies that hire them. And Illinois Medicaid gave a huge, huge, huge pay rate increase. Like we're talking about, they went from $28.2875 an hour mm -hmm. to $45 an hour for RNs. Right. And like maybe it was $24, hour, $24 an hour for LPNs all the way to $37.50. And we're like, Medicaid, you know, reimburses this much. We think you should be able to ask for X dollars and someone should be able to give it to you. So she called an agency that called our home and said, we're going to try to staff for you. And they said, we're not recruiting for that case, but we'll pay you way more if you'll go to this case in Greenville. Right. So I sent him a note. I said, I think there was some confusion. I sent you a nurse for our case because I thought you were recruiting for our case and you just offered her way more money to leave our case. Right. <laughs> so it looked really bad on them. <laughs> they realized it looked really bad on them. Um, and he's like, and we won't hire her for that job. I'm like, well, I don't know if that's necessarily yeah, I mean, fair it, to offer and then take back an offer. Yeah. Is she... I mean, no, no ill feelings for her whatsoever if she decided to leave us for a high, higher paying no, case. No, I would not be offended. Good on her, you know. Yeah, I wouldn't be offended. I'd be, be sad, but be, I wouldn't be offended. Would be frustrated with uh, the, yeah. with that with that agency. Well, okay, so if that were to happen, if they did hire you, bear believer, believe we'd be calling them and saying, so it says there's a one thousand dollar nurse referral bonus. <laughs> Can you right. write us a check because we referred a nurse to you? Yeah. But I'm like, you don't have to pay the referral bonus. You don't have to pay recruitment fees to find her. I found her. I'm sending her to you. Just hire her. Right. And it should, I mean, from my perspective, this should be like this, the easiest decision for them in the world. She already works at our house. She's already trained. They don't have to really train her at all, really. Right. All they have to do is just give her a little bit more money than she's making right now. And it honestly doesn't even have to be a lot more. It just needs to be enough that it's worth transitioning. I think it's and, fair for them to give her a lot more, but I don't but know if they will. Ultimately, like, they have to do very little work, and they get a ton of profit just for taking on this case that we already, yeah. it's already set up for them. It's already set up. This is just one of those things that uh, medical families like ours have to deal with that probably a lot of people don't even think about. But Well, I don't think most families do what we do, and I... This is why you shouldn't talk pay with your nurses. That's well, probably what they're thinking. From their perspective, yeah, of course. <laughs> but because I've always been really upfront with our nurses and told them how much I think they can get, and I've always tried to keep track of what are other agencies paying, our nurses have made way more money. Little have made way more money. Right. So that's why nurses do talk pay Which with is us. the fair thing to do because they're the ones here doing the work. And our job to advocate for Raylan is to get her the best paid nurses possible because right. they're going to stick around the longest. So right. I feel like it's my job to, to say, I think you can make this much and I'll help you any way I can so you can get yeah. that amount. Well, and, and I was saying earlier, I, I don't, I think the nursing agencies are important. They do take risk they do take training they're they're necessary for a reason uh however they're also a kind of middleman that they shouldn't be taking nearly the cut that they usually take and they should be passing on more of that I mean, to the actual nurses who so are they the went work. from before this pay increase i want to say the agencies were making i don't even know if it was this much Maybe it was eight dollars an hour. I'll have to. I would have to look it up. Maybe it was eight dollars an hour for every hour an RN worked in your home. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Yeah. For our last RN, they made fifteen dollars an hour for every hour our RN worked in our home, and that was with them giving her a really good raise. Like they were paying her fair, and they made almost double what they were making on the old rates. So right. they've won. Like this rate increase that parents like us fought for there was a lawsuit and we were part of it and we sent notes and we fought to get the rate increase so that nurses could get paid more right and what has for sure happened is nursing agencies have have started making 
more than double what they used to make per hour. Yeah. So it's only fair that nurses make more. And yeah. we're not asking them to make double more, but just more. Yeah. So in addition to all the things we do for Raylan's care, we also need to be advocates for our nurses to make the money that they deserve. Yeah. And not accidentally send them somewhere else. <laughs> right. <laughs> So I don't know if you got anything out of that video or not. <laughs> uh, but the one thing that I think that you might be able to get out of it is that we should care about our nurses. We should care about the people who are taking care of our kids, ourselves, and, and we fight for them. We want them to be well taken care of because they're taking care of us. They're taking care of our family and, and they do a great job. So do you have a nurse? Do you have people working in your home? And how do you make sure that they're being taken care of? <laughs> no matter what, I hope you're having hope and joy. God bless you. Take care. Raylan, did you sneak out to the garden? Hmm? I'm looking at the fairy garden. Yeah, look at that little gnome. I want to see him. Oop. I want to see him. Look at him. Isn't he cute? <laughs> You like him? He wants to go back to the garden. He's gonna go back. Hop, 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 hop. Oh my. Did someone put a big dinosaur in the garden? What you think of that? What made it into the garden? I don't know about that. Maybe it's supposed to be a dragon. Maybe it's supposed to be a dragon. What do you think? I saw the one fountain may... What is that stuff? Oh, bulbs they're planting. Ooh, that's gonna be pretty. I saw one fountain, maybe she could touch the water. Maybe. Let's go, Raven. Let's see. Let's see about over here. <laughs> oh, probably not, but you can hear it good. Just hear it good. You like it? Yeah. Got some wet leaves. No, was it mean? Sorry. You like to listen to it? Yeah. You just don't want wet leaves on your face? Let's see.
being very photogenic today.